For this problem, we're actually asked to sketch the graph of the parabola, and the parabola is given to us in standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We need to identify the vertex, the x-intercepts, and the y-intercept. The easiest value to identify from the equation is the y-intercept. Um, the y-intercept will be the value of the equation when x equals 0, so if I substitute in a 0 for x here and here, I just simply have negative 6. So our y-intercept is negative 6, so I'll start by plotting that. So here's our y-intercept at negative 6, 0, negative 6. And then to identify the x-intercepts, the x-intercepts are when the y-coordinates are 0. So I'm going to put a 0 for y, which gives me the quadratic equation, 0 equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. And this looks like it has the potential of being factored and being solved by using the zero product property. So I'm going to start by factoring out a 2, because that's the greatest common factor of all the terms. And then, let's see, I think we can factor this quadratic here. Factors of 3 are 3 and 1, and I want what a plus 3 and a minus 1, so that our middle term is 2x. So looking at the factors of x minus 1 and x plus 3 makes me realize that x equals 1 is one of the x-intercepts and x equals negative 3 is the other x-intercept. So I'll go ahead and plot those. Negative 3 and 1 for the x-intercepts. And so we're very close to being done. We need to identify the vertex. Um, but one of the things I will mention here is that our axis of symmetry is going to be the vertical line that would be midway between our two x-intercepts. So if you notice here, we have a distance of four units between our two x-intercepts, which means that our axis of symmetry is going to be the vertical line x equals negative one. So I know that my vertex has an x-coordinate of negative one, and then if I substitute that value in place of x in our original equation, um, I can identify that the x-coordinate, or excuse me, the y-coordinate of the vertex is negative 8. So if I substitute a negative 1 in place of x here and here and do some calculations, I'll end up with the vertex at negative 1, negative 8. So the vertex would be here. And so sketching our parabola, we can also, if we want, include this point as well, since it would be the reflection of the point 0, negative 6 over that axis of symmetry. But then we connect our x-intercept, vertex, y-intercept, and x-intercept, and there's the graph of our parabola.